drop, gonna drop. Okay, so shifting gears, because you grew up in the streets, right? And you know the codes and you know hip hop is from the streets. Right. And those codes are often embedded into the culture. Right. How do you feel about how hip hop has changed in that regard and has become more acceptable of people snitching, not being gangsters and rapping about gangster stuff still? You know what? You, I know why they do it. You know what I'm saying? I know why they do it because they, they don't let so many bitch made niggas in the game that Remember before, back then, they used to get real motherfuckers that really come from that to tell their story. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, they'll pick up their little nephew or their cousin that lived in Beverly Hills their whole life. And next thing you know, you got Malibu's most wanted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's, it's for real. You know what I'm saying? They, they really got Malibu's most wanted acting like they from Compton, though. You know what I'm saying? But nobody ever heard about them. You know what I'm saying? And then they create this image around them that they something, and then people eat it up, and next thing you know, that is, that he becomes a real nigga. Because, you know what I'm saying? Even in my neighborhood, like, even now with social media and shit like that, I see some of the rappers that was pretty decent, even in my hood. And you can't tell nobody shit because Facebook and IG got motherfuckers thinking they really superstars. You know what I'm saying? And and it's fucked up. You got the smallest motherfuckers like, yeah, I'm going to the lab. I got work. You know what I'm saying? I got this big show to do tomorrow and shit. And, and, and the show that they doing and shit is for like 10 people and shit. Yeah, I killed that shit. All three motherfuckers was cheering. I killed it. I'm the next best thing since Jay-Z and shit. You know what I mean? And it's it's sad, bro, because it's like, yo, these, this shit is pathetic. It's pathetic because that's the picture they painted, man. And it's like, there's no respect. There's no, it, to me, there's no respect. So snitching is cool because you know how many motherfuckers is out there snitching? You know what I'm saying? This nigga changed the whole game. Takashi 6 9 y'all know that. But before Takashi 6 9 they was already doing that shit, chop. You feel me? There was mad motherfuckers doing that shit, but they ain't want to see it. You feel me? And it's some of the niggas that we really like. That was hip-hop artists. Some of the niggas was hip-hop artists that was snitching. You feel me? But they was keeping it under wraps. You know what I'm saying? But now it's become a thing that is cool. It's cool to do that shit and come back from it, too. Like, it shit is crazy. But then you got a motherfucker like me that say some real shit and shit like that, and they don't want to know nothing about, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, yo. The shit is crazy. I, I just don't understand it. I think the time that things really changed, and, and not, you know, he has good music, don't get me wrong, okay? But was when uh, Rick Ross. Now, if I, you remember. I, I, I kind of I agree. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. Yeah, I kind of agree, though. For because, real. Because you remember when that first came out, right? Everybody yeah, was like thinking like, yo, agree. his career is over, right? Because that's never been accepted in hip hop. We never let any shit like that slide, right? But when yeah. he was able to keep on and 50 was really on yeah. his helmet at that time, bro. Like I thought yeah. it was really yeah. over, right? But when he was able to keep on and keep up, keep putting stuff out and people still rock with him, I'm talking about other rappers still rock with him. Yeah. I was like, yo, like I remember thinking, I was like, yo, this shit done changed. Like something is, yeah. is real yeah. different now. It's just about music. If music is good, that's all we care about. It, it wasn't any more like, yo, we keeping right. it real really mattered. Nah, you got that's a great that's a great point, Chuck. That's a great point because you you can say that, yo, because honestly, at fifty did come at his top, cause but he wasn't succeeding. Yeah. When, and when he turned around, they damn near put Rick Ross in the same boat as um as motherfucking Biggie. Remember, they was like, yo, he the closest storyteller to Biggie. I said, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I said, damn, a motherfucking ex motherfucking CEO. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good analogy, though, because that is true. With him, T.I., you feel me? You can even take it back. Snoop Dogg, you feel me? You can even take it back some. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, even though I don't think 
you know, Snoop to that extent, but I heard, you know, you hear the stories with Snoop Dogg, you feel me? But it's crazy, man. This, this, I don't want to say error. I, t- I just think, I, th- I just think it was time for hip hop to get a taste of reality. And if it keep on going like that, man, hip hop, it's, it's, it's going to be a little, it's going to be under 60 years of hip hop <laughs> for real. 